Um, thank you very much. We're going to go straight into our last brief session on three um, fabulous organizations to join. Um, Professor Alain Gregoire um, is uh, a well-known perinatal psychiatrist who worked um, in the very early stages and in fact coined the expression perinatal mental health, um, working with Chani Kumar in London. Um, Alain has been responsible um, for persuading together with his phenomenal teams here in the UK, the Maternal Mental Health Alliance, persuading the British government to allocate millions and millions of pounds to perinatal mental health care in this country. And he has succeeded in doing similar um, allocations of, of funding in other countries in Europe um, and is the founder of the Global um, Maternal Mental Health Alliance, which we'll speak about now. Thank you, Alain. Please go ahead. Oh, thank you, Simone. I hope you can hear me. Is that a thumbs up? Yep. Um, uh, thank you so much for that introduction, Simon, and uh, for promoting me to, to professor. Um, uh, you may be, but I'm just a simple doctor. Um, uh, it's wonderful to participate in this fantastic gathering, and it's uh, a, a proof, really, uh, for what I'm going to be talking about very quickly, uh, which is that when we come together and work together, uh, then we can achieve so much more and such greater richness in what we're trying to do. Um, and Simon has kindly given me a platform to just mention the Global Alliance for Maternal Mental Health. And here it is, and some of its uh, organizational members. Uh, it's an alliance of international organizations and of national alliances of multiple national organizations. Um, and... Uh, Whoops, um, Alain, we've lost and I've your muted. voice. Yes, I, hopefully I've unmuted. Uh, it's, yes. um, uh, so just to say um, that we are there as an alliance because uh, there is tons of research and there's always room for more, uh, uh, of course, uh, and there is also tons of international guidance as well as national guidance and policy, uh, but what there really, really isn't is concerted national action equivalent or responding to the really overwhelming research that this is a major human uh, and economic uh, problem, that the action level is really just not enough. Uh, and so we need, uh, we need action and we need it quickly. Uh, we don't even really have national policies in most countries of the world, but this map uh, uh, demonstrates that actually, whether it's a rich country or a poor country, it is perfectly possible to put in place policy. Um, so that is certainly an important starting point, and we heard some of the speakers say that. Our objective in the Global Alliance is uh, fairly obviously to increase international knowledge. Knowledge is really important, and ignorance in this field holds us back but also awareness uh, uh, and action. Uh, and in order to do that, we're not there to tell countries, nations, people what to do, uh, but we uh, would like to foster using our experience across the world in a number of countries. Now we would like to foster the development of national alliances. Uh, we would like to inspire people to set them up. We would like to inform uh, organizations that come together in this way and support them. So if you out there uh, are aware that in the country you work in, there is no alliance, no coming together of organizations for greater power and greater advocacy, please think about doing or even go ahead and start building an alliance and we will try and help you. Uh, and we want to see policy in every country, strategy in every country, and action in every country, uh, because mothers, babies, families are suffering as we speak today. Um, and we need more investment, inevitably, uh, and crucial to all of this, as we've been hearing today, the voice of women themselves with lived experience must be part of this whole journey. Um, membership is open to organizations, not individual people, that operate in more than one country or alliances of multiple national organizations. It's completely free. 
and uh, these organizations just need to support our aims. I just quickly mention that we're also seeking trustees, unpaid, it's a charity, trustees, particularly from low and middle income countries and from any professional or lived experience background. So if you're interested in becoming a trustee, please contact me. And I'd just like to finish by, by reminding you of the scale of the suffering that is going on out there. Um, much of it well established and measured, but a huge proportion of it completely unmeasured. Um, the point has been made that we know the prevalence of depression and we might question what on earth depression is. It's certainly not a homogenous entity, uh, but there's almost no measurement of post-traumatic stress disorder. And of course, the most perinatal of all conditions, complex PTSD, that comes from the intergenerational childhood adversity uh, that then is the most powerful social determinant of um, uh, 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 common mental health problems in the perinatal period. And I leave you with the words of Nelson Mandela, vision without action is just a dream. Action without vision is just passing time, but vision, which we have with action, can change the world. So let's get on with it. And it's wonderful to be here uh, with you today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alain. We will go straight into um, uh, Delitzo's presentation. Um, Sorry, I think we're going into Lavinia. Okay, yeah. all right. We're going to move to Lavinia. Lavinia Limu is a perinatal psychiatrist in Johannesburg, South Africa. Um, she has been running um, for several years um, a pro bono um, mental, maternal mental health clinic in one of the biggest maternal and child um, specialist hospitals um, on, the, on the continent. And... Um, has, is also the president-elect of the Marseille Society, the International Marseille Society for Perinatal Mental Health. And through her work on the International Perinatal Mental Health Marseille Society, she has developed an African chapter. She was not able to join us today, given her very busy clinical load, um, but uh, she will speak about the society. Thank you. My name is Dr. Lavinia Lumu from South Africa, and I am the current president-elect of the International Marseille Society for Perinatal Mental Health. As I share my screen, I would like to welcome you to today's conference. The International Marseille Society for Perinatal Mental Health has initiatives on the continent to promote and support all individuals in the fight for improved maternal mental health care. I'd like to welcome the initiative called MAMA, which is the Marseille Africa Maternal Mental Health Africa Initiative. As part of that, in the Marseille Society, we bring together people from different disciplines, all on the ground, involved in the fight in improving maternal mental health from researchers to clinicians far and wide we welcome you to jo join in the fight in improving perinatal mental care for mothers fathers perinatal individuals and their babies on the continent one in three to one in five women have been affected or are affected by some form of mental health condition during pregnancy and childbirth. And it's because of this that the World Health Organization has mandated that we should be in the fight in improving global maternal health care. And by doing this, and so improving maternal and neonatal outcomes. So I encourage you, join the International Marseille Society today. This society comes together and brings together people all involved in the fight for improved maternal mental health care. I thank you.
Thank you. Big duty time. Um, we're going to move straight into the next presentation. Um, Delitzo, we do not have a bio for you, but welcome. <laughs> um, welcome to present on the African Maternal Mental Health Alliance. So Alan spoke about the Global Alliance. We have different regional alliances subsumed within the Global Alliance. And Delitzo has been at the founding from, from Malawi and now based in the UK. Um, she'll join with her own slides. Um, she will be, uh, she was there from the founding uh, moments of the African Alliance in Lilongwe a few years ago, and she will speak about that. Um, Delitzo, please, if you could share your screen and your camera, if you can. And thank you. Sorry, Simone, please, can you share? I think I, I said um, I was unable to share on my end. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, Chimamwe, I'm going to need you back again. We're going to need to share her presentation. Um, would while we're getting your presentation ready, Delito, if you could just introduce yourself in a in a thirty seconds, and we'll have your presentation ready for you. Thank you. Thank you, and greetings from the warm heart of Africa, Malawi. I am. Um, maternal mental health researcher based at the current moment with the Malawi Livable Welcome Research Program in Malawi. And I'm also a PhD student just starting now uh, with ex with expert, with with um, a passion for studying prenatal bereavement and social support. Um, as Dr. Simone said, I am one of the founding members of the African Alliance, and I am very excited to be part of this conference today. Um, I will be building upon what my colleagues have said, Dr. Lumu and Dr. Aaron Gregoire, uh, who work very closely together with. Um, and I'll be introducing to you the African Alliance for Maternal Mental Health um, uh, this afternoon. Next slide, please. So the African Alliance exists because women um, across, me as women across Africa, um, experience uh, challenges during the pregnancy and also the postpartum period. Some of these challenges many have already um, just talked about. These are gender-based violence, HIV, HIV and AIDS, food insecurity and poverty, which can um, trigger and also exacerbate uh, poor maternal mental health during um, the pregnancy and also the period after with short and long-term um, impacts on the mother and the baby's well-being. The African Alliance then therefore um, understands that there's a need um, to work together with people for this, especially because while there are effective interventions that do exist, um, there are very few that are accessible to the millions that need them across Africa. Next, please. So the African Alliance is builds works upon these two pillars, which is about the importance of building alliances, working together in groups and not in silos, and also having a multi-sector approach in our working. Therefore, not just only having work um, which is specific to one field, but working across the sector um, in fields that affect both mother and baby, both maternal and, um, uh, maternal and child health programs. Next, please. So what do we do as an African Alliance? We have three aims, which are to educate the general public around maternal mental health and also service providers. We also aim to advocate for maternal mental health to be prioritized in key national documents, which can also further improve um, funding uh, to programs around maternal mental health. And lastly, we also work together to act um, to develop reproductive and child health services in uh, nations across Africa. Next. Who can join the African Alliance? The African Alliance membership is free for all to join. We encourage strongly the joining of organizations which are registered within Africa. And these again can be um, multisectoral, so in mental health, women's health and other fields. Um, and then we also look into national alliances. These organizations, when they come together, they form national alliances and national alliances at a country, country level um, are, is what creates a voice for, uh, for the African Alliance. We do understand that people may not be able to be in organizations or part of the national alliances, but may wish to join as individual members and these will be joined um, as individual members um, uh, with, with, uh, with on our friendship list next. We're currently working in over 10 uh, countries. 
uh, across Africa, but and these are some of our members um, that have registered with the African Alliance. Next, please. Thank you very much for your attention and looking forward to um, engaging with you further on joining the African Alliance. Thank you so much. Thank you.